something funny about Cuba. You guys are always trying to sell somebody a raggy ass car. You see a whole ass rambler with some vending in the window and shit. We got about 14 Cubans riding in that moment, right? Brothers be contracting y'all for them raggy motherfuckers. Like, no man, fuck it, they can all fit in there. <laughs> Some crazy shit going on down here, man. How many people got cats? Any ladies get cats, man? Me and my girlfriend broke up over a cat, man. Really? Because guys, you know, when you ready to make love to your girl, you know, you take the cat, you put the cat in the living room, you shut the door. When we in there, we make love, we sit there, you know, fellas, when we come, we just pass around nuts in the air. <laughs> Women like to get up and go to the kitchen. The damn cat come in, you get in there and sleep. And you get it. Training order put on me and shit. Because I was outside her house. I'm like, here, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Where are my people that work out up in here? Anybody that work out up in here? One person? We got some lot of shit going on, man. Man, it up, man. I was working out at the gym. I had everybody pissed off in the gym. I'm sitting there working out, you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there bitching about three. I'm bitching about 500. Right? <laughs> You know, I got my headphones on, I'm dead, I'm just bitching. Boom, boom, damn it. And everybody just left and everything else, but how the fuck I supposed to know I was farting? I couldn't hear myself. <laughs> you know, come on, you got about 300 pounds in your chest and you rip one, boom, you know? You know, come on, man. You know what I mean? You got, I'm sorry, we got some white people. I think you guys call them wind grenades or some shit like that. Butt biscuits or something. What? Why are you farting? Any language, right? Do you fight in Spanish? <laughs> What is it? El <laughs> No, but you don't want to about far show. But guys, ladies will be sneaky on your ass. If you and your friend take a lady out and you sit at the table, you sit there, you at the table, and you and your buddy be like, Yo, Tom. Yo, what's up, man? Did you fart? <laughs> no, nah, man, what do you mean? Damn. Ladies be like, <laughs> I think I had to set it. <laughs> I had to set it up. No, <laughs> but you had some air freshener in there. <laughs> no, but farts can be helpful. Look, they can. If you and your friends are sitting around you playing the fart game, like you know the four or five guys you're out playing the fart game, you're like, yeah, yeah, root, root, pa! Like, woo, shit! Yeah, you pa! Ha ha! Yeah, root, pa! And you got the one friend like, whoosh! The whole of that, Y'all start looking like, <laughs> but it can be helpful though if you're married. If you're married, you drive home and your wife will not just shut the fuck up. She's like, shut up, shut up, shut up. I did, what you do is, you snipe her apart. She's like, shut up, shut up, shut up. Bang, I did. You lock your load. Done that shit came out. You were on one eye, like. Did <laughs> <laughs> you go to the other eye? You go to the other eye? You watch the scene walking into it. You got some little ass on the lady. She's like. Woo! This shit be crazy, man. This shit be. What do you all know I mean? I used to be with the FBI to get me out because of that. Seriously, so yeah, because we used to go on, you know, we used to go on the stakeouts and stuff like that. We got a standoff. They're like, all right, hey, everybody, hold your fire! So they kicked me out, but they control my farts, man. It's cool, but you know, it's... <laughs> that was some crazy shit, man. Let's talk about that crew. Any rollerbladers in the house? Oh. Rollerbladers? Yeah. I recently just learned how to rollerblade. It was cool, man. But the thing about it being on Southeast, you probably learn how to rollerblade real quick. Especially if you get 10 of them big, buff-ass gay guys when I get out of rollerblade. My ass felt like this was like... Commercials now out of hand in South Beach. Ladies, enough filming them ass already, please. Now y'all got tampons with factory seeds and cellular phone hookers on the fuckers, man. 
but they do not have is enough for men. Guys, are you with me? Cool. Because, hey, like, if I had a commercial, this is how my commercial would be. I'd be out playing basket. I'd be at the rodeo with my boys, right? The guy has a fucking name, he has a comedy on <laughs> I'm at the rodeo with my boys. Yeah! Bob, Steve, yeah! John Wayne, that was going on cool. Hey, what's up? My name is Asian. When I'm not over with boys, my boys, my nuts get musty. So I use struggle scrub. Make I'm not to one refresh green. Smell it. <laughs> and in India. Whew, being out here in Navy, Florida, it's a trip. It's like being in the twilight zone. It sounded like the everything was saying negatively out here. I'm serious, I stood on the corner. This guy was on one of those ninja motorcycles, one of those big pop motorcycles. He had a big cowboy hat on, he had the boots with the spurs. The motorcycle was going up, he was like, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> then they put me in some damn hotel over here off a university and wagon train or some shit. <laughs> You know, I was sitting watching TV and that Taco Bell commercial came on. And that damn little dog came on. The dog looked at me. I looked at the dog. The dog looked at me. I looked at the dog. The dog was like, you need, you need, you need. <laughs> yeah, I know the dog died, right? Because I killed his ass. Put my foot right in his ass, bro. But then they booked me in a homestead for it. Oops is right, that is what fucking Pentagon's are with next. Man, I'm, and they got the NASCAR race. So man, I'm a race fan. So I'm out there at the NASCAR. Yeah. And then like, man, I'm sitting there rooting for my favorite car. I'm like, <laughs> then they had that one damn car they going, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, man. Hey, y'all ready to keep this show running? No, we can have you guys drop your comment card, you drop them off in the fishbowl, you guys can get, get in our mailing list. We win free tickets, free parties, and everything else, free passes. Okay, do that. And also, next week we have Jeff Dunham and friends. Okay, and the first week of December, we have John Panette. Alright, like that? John Panette? How you say the name of the band? Oh, hello, sir, we're naked. <laughs> oh, how you say how you say fat guy's name? Boot your ass or something like that? <laughs> no, John from that, okay? First, we can be simple. Now, keeping this rolling. This first gentleman coming up. Okay, he's from Boston, Massachusetts. You see him on HBO, Showtime, Cops, Cops, and more Cops. I fucking never learned. Let's give it up for Mr. Jack Lynch, John. Come on! Doing, all right? Yeah. Right here, all the women. Remember on the way out, grab one of these green sheets because we have all the upcoming events. And next week, we have Jeff Dunham in France. And the first week of December, we have Mr. John Panette. Is that cool? Yeah. I'm an ex postal worker. Is that cool? Yeah. All right, gotta get your attention that one. All right, now, bringing your headliner up. This lady is from Chicago, you see her on MTV, HBO, Showtime, you know, I, she kicked romance, Roseanne Barr's ass in Kmart, that new TV series. Hey, I just made that shit up, it didn't work, I threw it out, y'all threw it the fuck back, thank you. <laughs> now, with no further ado, let's give it up for Miss Sonya White, y'all, come on! Fine. Uh, We got a good show this morning. We actually have a special guest coming up tonight. You guys are lucky. You may have seen this next performer in the movie Holy Man, Sins of the City. He has his own HBO special coming out. Please, a big round of applause for AJ Alexander. Damn, a lot of white people. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, now I'm not OJ, though. How y'all doing? 
Yeah, my name is A.D. Alexander. I'm also from Atlanta, Georgia. From a shade, yeah, yeah. Being down here, I feel like I'm in KKK 90210. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, man. Being down here from Atlanta, Georgia. Any Cubans in the house? Hey, I'm gonna talk about you guys' asses for a minute. <laughs> no, no, in, in, in a good way. You guys got some of this Cuban coffee? This shit is liquid crack. <laughs> I'm serious, they give you a big cup with a little tiny cup, and you take this, you hide for two hours. <laughs> I dropped a big cup. <laughs> Just got back from Puerto Rico two hours ago swimming, working for the Coast Guard part of time. <laughs> but the cool thing about it is you guys watch Forrest Gump Got Bands. The movie Forrest Gump. If you want a real vacation, drink a big cup of Cuban coffee and watch Forrest Gump. <laughs> totally different movie. <laughs> Forrest Gump and Bubba were lovers. <laughs> I saw it in the movie, trust me. Because it was too much I love you in that movie for two grown men. I can see Forrest Gump talking about Bub always helped that to Bub Tom Hawks. <laughs> Sometimes Bubba would dress me up in a dress. Talk real funny though when the wind blow gets some more, right? friends told me about South Beach. You guys been to South Beach? Yeah. South Beach is booty heaven. No, seriously, South Beach, they got gay cops, they got gay gangs, they even have gay guns. I got shot by one. It was like, bang. I had a pink guy on my shirt, he's like, you been funny. South Florida is crazy, man. It's really crazy. Because now commercial ladies, you got enough feminine mans already. Please, please. Now they got tampons with Mojack in them. <laughs> and what they do not have is enough for men. Guys, are you with me? Yeah. Yeah. Guys, are you with me? Yeah. Cool, man. Because hey, if I had a commercial, this is how my commercial would be. I'd be out playing basket. I'd be out at the rodeo with my friends, right? <laughs> That's called a comedy audible. You better know when to use it. I'm even rodeo with my friends like, hey, Billy Bob, John Wayne, Elvis, tomorrow, two o'clock, cool. Yes, okay. Oh, hi. My name is AJ. When I'm not walking bulls with my friends, my nuts get musty, so I usually struggle to scrub. <laughs> Makes my nuts feel wintery, fresh green. Smell them. <laughs> Yo, and I just got back. You guys been. Have you guys been to Universal Studios lately? Let me ask you guys something. Is it me? Does, uh, does Universal Studios have the knack for taking natural disasters and making joy rides out of it? <laughs> Think about it. You got earthquake, tower inferno, flood. This is definitely one for the white people. Jaws or a big ass shark jumping the boat with you. What the hell is fun about that? <laughs> now they got Twister, they got a new one now called The Hood. It's where white people get carjacked for fun and shit. <laughs> Yeah, man. When you saw the Titanic funny. When you finally saw the Titanic. Let me ask you guys something. Was it just me, but when the boat was in there, people were jumping off the boat, and then the sound was like, da 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 Was it just me, or did it bother me when that one asshole jumped off the boat and hit the propeller? I'm like, ooh, splash! Ooh, ooh, keep! Who the hell in the hell do you miss a whole ocean? One thing about that movie, there was no blacks or Cubans on that boat. You know what I mean? Because when the boat was pulling off, the black people was like, hold up, y'all gave us a cruise 400 years ago. No, that's all right, I'm going on. <laughs> the Cubans were like, hey, guys, when I go to Miami, fuck you, okay? <laughs> and this fine establishment booked me in Okeechobee, Florida. <laughs> My system is exactly. Whoa! We're shit right now. No, because I was out of control before. I don't know, man. It sounded like.